Tilraunin verkefni með skólamáltíðir unnar úr sáöfnum í heimabyggð er á margan hátt ólíkt því sem tíðkast hefur um skólamáltíðir. Well, the way we see it is that they have to be part of the uh, maintaining the vegetable garden. Uh, they are the ones that are cooking the meals for the, for the learners. Uh, then, of course, we have the farmers, we have the fishermen that also need to be a part of this. So it is really sort of throughout the whole community. Uh, everyone must really participate if this is to be successful. Hugmyndin um að styrkja landbúnað og fiskveiðar í heimabyggð með hráefni í skólamáltíðir er ættuð frá Brasilíu. Undirbúningur verkefnisins í Malavi hefur tekið hálft ár eða svo. This program is um, much more complex than the um, centralized model as we call it. In the central model, World Food Program procures the food through a tendering process transports it through its, uh, its uh, companies that uh, it contracts and brings it to the school and then the, the meal is prepared by the community members. So it's relatively straightforward. In, in this model, uh, the, the, it works different. The funds are transferred from the World Food Program to the Ministry of Education, thereafter to the school, and then the school management spends that money to buy produce from the smallholder farmers in the area. So it took us some time to map out the capacity of the smallholder farmers, the quality of the food they produce, uh, but also um, the type of produce, creating the menus which are nutritionally balanced and which uh, will, will provide uh, the school uh, students with an adequate diet. Hey!